Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Eternal Edge Plus. This is the prologue for the game, so it's very, very early development still. And I want to point out there that I actually played this game a while back when the demo was available to the public and it was in its alpha state. Uh, and it was very choppy back then and I haven't tried it now, but it seems to have saved my file on Steam. So I'm going to load into my old game file and see what's up. I don't know. I, I don't know, you know. So let's hop in and see. Uh, I, I haven't done any volume tests yet so it might be loud let me i'll fix it right in the beginning here uh world events are a good way to level up and grant experience sometimes they even have rare items as rewards head for the beacons i do remember that i do remember this being a big open map where there were giant beacons that you can go around oh like there were there were beacons and you would go to it and you would do the uh quests and things of that nature and kill enemies and stuff like that oh wow this looks completely different than i remember and i am in the water hold on there we go Oh. Wow, this looks so much different. We actually have a body. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh whew. Oh my goodness. I wish I had the old footage of this on my computer, but I don't. What does that button do? What is that? Oh, it's a strike. It's a like a it's like a strife button. Oh, that's so cool. More games need this. More games need this ability to like aim the direction you're in and then like be able to turn the camera and stay facing that way, but attack at the same time. Seriously, nice. You push in to run. We don't have a jump. Oh, we do have a jump. It's this button. So then what's A do? A must A must just like. Ooh, it's a little choppy. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, we have a dodge roll on Y. Oh, I see. I have stamina now. Interesting. Okay. And we can just mine like that. All right. I, I'm not hearing any sound, though. Can I, can I combine them? Oh. Cool. I I did that somehow. I don't know what I did there. Can I do this? That's equipped. All right. Settings? Is there no sound? Are you at... Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's leave that at a, at, at a three. I say leave that at a four. Do it. Now, I don't know what I was doing previously. Oh, wow. This is really cool. So, is that a beacon? Is that a, a beacon? That looks like it's a beacon. Let's go there. Let's check this out. So, how this game works, or at least how the story goes from what I can remember is that... Also, wait. Is there a way to mess with the graphics right now? Because they're a little... Shadow... See, I don't know why shadow quality is always a max. Shadow quality doesn't even be max. Grass distance. We can do medium on that. We, they will not let us turn the bloom off. That's hilarious. Uh, all right, we'll leave it at that. There we go. All right, it's a little smoother. Let's leave that at that. What's this? I can't break this. Okay, so where am What do I do? Where am I at? Here we go. This is the world map. All right, that's what I wanted. So I know that in the original alpha that I played... Uh, the field of ruins was a, was the only place available to run around and do stuff. That's the sanctuary. So the game runs like this. As far as I know, the story of the game is your character, the main character here, has a wife or there's a princess that's asleep, and you have to go to the other kingdoms and find and collect um, the mm, well, the fable treasure. That's it. I'm sorry. It's the fable treasure. We need the fable treasure to wake up the, the sleeping lady uh, in order to in order to uh, complete the game. That's how this works. Although I will say, I'm gonna go on a limb and say there is no teleporting, so we have to run to places. Uh, and I remember not liking that about this game the the whole like no fast travel early on, and if there is fast travel, I don't know how to do it. I almost want to restart the file and. Uh, Try this again. Coolio. 
Ooh, I don't know what these. I don't know what I need these ores for, but I'm gonna grab them anyway, just in case. Can I climb? I'll put my sword away. Can I climb? No, I cannot climb. All right. My run speed feels better though. I rem I distinctly remember the run speed being garbage, but now it seems to be pretty good. And we put the sword away right away when we run. Wow, they really updated this game a lot. They really have. It didn't look like this before. It remember it being like chibi characters. That's what I remember. Like, very chibi characters. I don't know how to explain that. What's this? I got a ball. What does this ball do? Oh, I see stairs. Does that mean that the, this go, we go up the stairs with this ball? Very Zelda-like. Very Zelda-like. Yes, we do. Right here. I bet you it goes right here. Ah, treasure chest. What do we got? Cool. I I got an essence. Great. I don't know what those do. Uh, they might have added a lot of stuff to the game that I am unaware of. Uh, this looks a lot better though right now. And I, you know, my favorite thing, my favorite thing about characters in 3D games like this is I love characters that have um, oversized torsos and tiny legs. Does that make sense? That's I think it's a weird thing to say, but like I, I like the character design. If you guys ever played, um, is it is it is it build the scrapyard? I forget what the heck it is, but it, there's it's it has like the guy on the front with his hands up like this, and he's got like his wrench in one hand and his hammer in the other, and a backpack uh, with with plans in it, and it's all like it's got a yellow, yellow coloring theme to it. Uh, it's real fun. It's it's a cool game. It's fun. The only thing I don't like about it is that all the blocks are really tiny that you work with because it's like Minecraft but with motors and stuff. And it's got a cool concept where like you can use wire tethering to connect bits together so they run and function like a real vehicle. And it's really cool. I think it, I think it's called scrap scrap something. I am slowly heading back. Aha! Okay, I'm back on track. I know where I am now. This is the starting area. That big beacon over there. I think that's a beacon over there. You see that right there? I think that's a beacon. Um, yeah, got him. Nice. Pumpkin bomb. Woo! What does that do? How do I use it? Can I use it? Inventory. Tools. Pumpkin bomb. All right. How do I use that, though? put it so it's on it's just on rb okay all right i got five of those Ooh. okay i see some more shiny stuff over here let me walk this way i don't know this feels kind of good i'm not gonna lie i i don't i don't dislike this i don't remember this game being anything like this though it's so strange it's so strange is this a beacon what is this a campsite of camp at this location sure rest until morning rest until evening all oh, right there's a day and night cycle i can spend essence oh this is new i don't remember this uh yes i'm okay with that i'm also obviously using a controller i think you're meant to use keyboard and mouse in this game but i don't like keyboard and mouse use all right all right all right i get it i get it i get it pumpkin bomb i need oh i see this would make a fuse if i had cotton and coconut and then i need the fuse and essence of bomb and pumpkin to make cup pumpkin bombs i can make these all right cool we got potions nice 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 uh exit i don't need to rest i'm like not re not really anyway all right that goes there tools can i Can I not choose where they go? Just on the D-pad, huh? Down on the D-pad, huh? It's not worth it. I don't know what to do. I have no idea. Maybe if I had more than one item, it would um, it would swap it. I don't really know. That doesn't do anything. I thought maybe that would do something. But yeah, it's a, it's a, this game is like an open world. Oh, what's this? Coconuts? I got some coconuts. Uh, so this game is an open world. Is an open like think of like an MMO. It's like an MMO but for single players basically, which is really cool. I think it's pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool back then. I think it's pretty cool now. Oh, 
boy, I'm getting messed up. Roll away. Night. I got that was a slow mo slash. Nice. Oh, there's a little bit of a lock on too when you do that when you hold down our when you hold down uh, right trigger. A little bit of slow down. That's I mean not slow down. Lock on. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna turn this way, and I can slightly back up. Look at that. I love that. There should be more of these in in games. There should be more like. I'm gonna hold this direction and then want to, and not, now I can freely move this way and keep slashing and I don't have to turn my camera. Like it's nice. I love that, dude. More, more open world games. Please do this. Give us a strafe function. Strafe is good. Oh, a lot of stuff. Hey, oh, more guys. Come here. Nice. So the blue guys must be like the bigger, stronger boss ones, I think. Oh, he he ducked under the ground. Got him. I don't know what quills are though. I'm assuming quills are money. Assuming quills are money. I would like to do a mission or something. Oh, can I open you? Interact. Yeah. Copper shoulders. Nice. What is this? And quill. Oh, that's a lot of quill. Nice. I remember. I do remember in the version. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. I don't want to make that campsite. Oh, Essence of Boom! We needed that for the bombs! Dope. Grab these. Grab this. I do remember... I got a gear shield. <laughs> I do remember when I played the original <clears throat> version of this. Uh, there was a, a spot behind the sanctuary. Oh, this is cool. I like this. That The game's getting fuzzy. That... Interesting. It must be a secret. Every time I get close to that door, it gets fuzzy. Strange. It must be a secret. Uh, what else we got here? Let me see my armor. Armor. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's go with that then. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't mean to talk in the microphone. Cool. We got some new stuff. All right. All right. It doesn't seem like there's a... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for here? It doesn't look as uh, armor to wear. Like, outfits? Maybe there is. I haven't got it yet, but... Surprised there's only shoulders, shields, and... Shoulders, shields, and swords! The three S's. So we can get up over here, let's say. I remember the run speed being really garbage in this, so I'm really glad that it feels like I'm actually going somewhere now when I'm running. The camera control feels really good. I I remember I remember this game being feeling, like, not great. What is this? Got no charge slash. Can I jump this? Negative. Okay, I cannot do that. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, get up. Oh, okay. I don't know how you're doing a flip like that, bro. Uh, okay, all right. Nice, nice. What's this? Interact. Give me a bow. Got an essence. All right. Dope. I don't know how loud that is for you, though, guys. I'm sorry about that. So far, so good. This seems pretty cool. I, I don't know how to get around. I want to get on the other side of this wall, though. Uh, let me jump. Do we take fall damage? No. No fall damage. Love it. I don't know what that was. Interesting. It sounds like it's tougher than what we've been, what we've been messing with, the other rocks that we've been trying to get. I feel like they could have gave us a better jump. Oh, we can swim too? Girl. We can swim too? Alright, the jump seems to work out pretty well in the uh, in the water. It's almost unnoticeable when you're running. Which I guess isn't a big problem. It's just that it's like something I'm, I'm, I'm observing as I'm playing. I think I'm back where I started. Where I originally stopped. <laughs> where I logged back in. Oh my god. I wonder where I'm supposed to go. I, how did I get here is the question. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did I get onto this side of the map? Unless I'm soft locked because they edited the game and I was saved here the whole time. Does that make sense? I don't know, man. I don't know. I do like the feel of this game. I really, 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 really do like the feel of this game, though. 
Like, I remember it feeling like garbage, and I was like, dude, I don't know what to make for a video for this. I actually, I think I streamed it, too, way back in the day. I don't even think I made a video. I think I streamed it. Again with this eyeball thing. Can't stab it. I think I might have to restart this from the beginning. Oh, I got wood. Found some wood. Let's go. How good am I? Oh, that was a, that was a nice climb. Didn't think that was possible. Got a medical herb. All right, I'm going to head to that house. I want to go back to, I think... All right, I can't go that way. I think this is the sanctuary, honestly. Oh, pumpkin guys. All right, so I've been showing off some of the combat. That's nice. So we showed off some of the combat. We showed the world, uh, our new character here that looks completely different than I remember. Like, I wish I had footage of the older version of the game. If I can find it, I'll put it in the video for you guys to show you what the original character used to look like. I'm telling you, they used to be little chibi dudes. I'm telling you. What is this? Travel well location discovered. Travel well? Oh, so does that mean that I can now fast travel here? Along your travels, you find fast travel wells. Ah, which is crucial to your journey. Be sure to keep an eye out for them, and it will always and, and always activate new ones that you come across. Uh, to fast travel, simply open the menu to the, the view button. And da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, got it. Perfect. I can do that. What are these things? Just aesthetics. Just aesthetics. Please. Okay. What's this about? Oh, wow. This room looks so different. This is her. This is the lady in... in the... Why is this bed so big? Why is this bed so big? Okay. Yeah, this is the lady in person. This is the first mission they give you. You start up. This is the lady that's, like, not... Not awake. And we have to get the fabled item to wake her up. To, like, heal her or wake her out of her slumber, I believe. Uh, go to the doors of the sanctuary and into the expanse. The closest cursed orb is hidden inside the misty caverns west west of here. So that's where we're supposed to go. Okay. Like I said, I don't know where I was when I first started up, but I wanted to use my old file because, like, I wanted to show that I did play this game before at one point. But they obviously updated me. Crazy. Let's go to the west. The first core cursed orb. Are those the cursed orbs? I don't know, man. I'm very confused. I wonder if it's up this thing, maybe? It's he said to the left. To the to the to the west of here. Across the water? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. He said he did say to the west of here, right? The map keeps changing on me. The map keeps changing on me. Alright, hold on. So we're here. And then, according to the map, the west is this direction? The first cursed, or cursed orb is to the west of here. Is this it? I can't interact with it, so I don't know what to do. What would I do with it? How do I open it? Do I need a bomb? Not a bomb. I don't really have any other moves to do here. It does look like an eyeball with the pointer on it. Like I'm supposed to like, like it's like right here. This is the one. Like, but I don't know what to do there. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. It says this is save and there's a treasure chest here. Oh. Cool, an iron shield. Nice. We got one of those now. Uh, okay. What do I have to do with it? Eternal essence can be used uh, used only by eternals. Go figure. Go figure. Right. Uh, when an eternal when an eternal rests, they can absorb the essence, making themselves stronger. Don't ask me the details. I really don't know how the rest works. Uh, uh, whenever that you whenever you want to apply essence they, that you found. Uh, in your travels, go to camps, go to a campfire, 
with that with that out of the way, I suppose I'll have to I'll, uh, I'll just have to trust that you'll handle it yourself. Watch watch where you step. The minions of the Skeleton King are everywhere. Right, the Skeleton King. I forgot about the Skeleton King. The strength varies. In some areas, like here, they're pretty weak. But if you go to explore too far, then they'll, you, you, they'll be they'll be stronger probably. Listen, cross the etern cross the eternal. It will cross the eternal. It would be great if we could keep you here a bit longer and put meat back on your bones. So did I used to be? I must used to, must have used to been must have been at one point a really strong dude. <clears throat> All right. You're talking too much. I will leave immediately. Quest accepted. To the high tower. Thanks for the tip. Okay. I can... So he mentioned the well well. I don't know. I can't... Okay. Oh, maybe he wanted me to activate it so I'd be able to teleport back here faster. Well, you know what? <clears throat> I think we looked into this game enough. I'm actually excited for this. I want to do another video on this where I actually do a mission or something. This is pretty cool. Like, just running around and coming back to this game after so long. It's been... Oof, I think it was in my first apartment when I did this. This is like when I first started streaming. This was a couple years ago. Way more than a couple years ago, actually, that I first played that I played the original alpha version. Like I said, the character has changed. The the everything it feels, everything looks different a little bit, except for the pumpkin guys. I remember them looking exactly like that. Uh, it, the trees move like they whisper in the winds. That's pretty dope, man. I mean, I'm I'm just saying it's, it 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 has really evolved. Uh, if you want to see more of me checking out older games that I haven't seen before, hit that like button. Maybe even hit the subscribe button if you decided you want to hang around and see some more indie games. If you want to watch them live, head over to uh, twitch.tv slash rogue rules and see me there. But for, until then, until next time, man. Until next time. I'm a little bit over my words uh, today because I'm kind of, I'm kind of just baffled at like, wow, this is like, this is a really big update. Like I said, if I find older footage of this game, I'm going to post it where I said I was going to post it in the video and we'll see. We'll see. But you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Now I'm the king of the swingers. Oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop. And that's what's bothering me. I want to